What's up, guys? How are you doing? Let's do another pick a card. Today is gonna be what do they want to tell you? Ooh, that could be interesting. That could be triggering. So stay cool. Just tarot, as I always say. We do two cards and we develop. Blah blah blah. Okay, one, two, one, two. Card number one. What do they want to tell you? Ace of Pentacle, Five of Sword, and the Sun. Holy schmoly. That is powerful. There's a bit of a symmetry here. Fascinating. Okay, so what do we have? Yeah, uh, what they want to tell you is now maybe is the right time for them to tell you something. It wasn't the divine timing before. So sometimes we judge the timing to be, come on, universe, let's go. Um, but we don't know what's really happening behind uh, the scene. So I tend to always uh, trust the universe that things happening at the right time, even when sometimes it's very challenging. Okay, but be patient. Because that Ace of Pentacles is coming up very soon. The thing is, it could be also a money, it could be an offer, it could be a promotion, it could be a refund, it could be a gift, a compliment, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but on this note, there's someone as well, as well who wants to say, I thought I was not good enough. Or maybe I still feel like that, I'm not good enough. The thing is, that it's probably more their mind uh, triggering them more than you. And the thing is, they have to look within, why do I feel I'm not good enough? Where that come from? And they have to ask themselves the question. And maybe for a while it was easier to say it was your fault. Because you this, you that, they make me feel like that. Right. No. Maybe not. Okay. Maybe they were not ready neither to understand the, the core issues within themselves. Okay. So with the sun, we have a wonderful card. The best card of the old deck is a lot of warmth. And also is an idea of um, you guys, you connecting, oh, it's cloudy, so the light is changing, I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'm in front of a window, so, you know, depend on the clouds, really. Um, the thing is, you connecting at the inner child level. This is really you as a, you know, the inner child and them as an inner child. So you're going to be triggering yourself and each other. Uh, it's inevitable. But what you realize as well is when you're together, you really feel safe. The world is just, just, just stop. The world is just silent when you're together and you're doing well together, okay? But that is triggering because the inner child issues are going to come out too. The inner child is there with the good, the bad, and the ugly. So the thing is, you know, because they judge themselves are not enough, they may be very triggered by this connection when you are so close to each other. But the timing was not correct. Now it's going to come together okay so i don't have an issue and that's what they want to tell you i wasn't ready you were so close to me i never had a relationship like that in my life it just feels so unique i didn't really know how to respond to you which is fair enough they haven't been there before okay so it's a no-brainer here i don't think we spend it in more <laughs> we were going to take a bit longer because i need to express it <laughs> okay you don't know so we call it what do i have i wish i had treated you better yes you know I think now they're judging themselves. Why did I do this? Why do I do that? I'm not good enough. You deserve better. You could find someone else, blah, blah, blah. But the inner child connection is only with you and you with them. So, you know, they can tell you all kind of things. But the thing is, you don't want anybody else. You don't feel the same way with anybody else anyway. Okay, so let's have this um, one here. Hmm? What is it going to be? Forgiveness. Bingo let the past go clear your mind your heart and mind through forgiveness yeah forgiveness is also forgive ourselves. i think sometimes we we forget that <laughs> we forgive other people but we don't forget forgive ourselves um for believing someone for giving a chance or giving another chance oh my god i was an idiot why did i do that and i think that person doesn't forgive themselves neither to not be enough where they judge are not enough. When you're telling them you're enough for me, as long as you are your inner child, I don't have a problem with you. So forgiveness is not always about someone else. It's sometimes forgive ourselves. And that is the toughest one. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know about you, but I'm really harsh on myself. And I have to remind myself, be kind to yourself. I wouldn't be as harsh with anybody else, but I'm very harsh on myself. And that comes from childhood. So you have to understand, uh-oh, no, be kind to yourself, calm down. And when you leave yourself alone, somehow you will see life is less complicated because you're not under attack by yourself. And I think this person, and maybe it could be reversed, let's never forget that. It can all be reversed. It means you feeling that you're not good enough. 
that maybe it's just a repetition of what you heard when you were growing up i'm not you know attacking anybody but maybe you were just trying to exist and people were just bombarding you with criticism just because they were not happy with themselves or their life but you were on a receiving end and then you end up not believing in yourself so forgive yourself okay so part number two what we're doing <laughs> what does i want to tell you here we go the lovers nine of sword and the fool my god two major arcana here huge and in the middle yeah well we have someone who's been really thinking and overthinking and wondering and questioning and not sleeping at night and oh my god the whole shebang and that is a person very anxious because they want to move forward and take a leap of faith with you what they want to tell you is maybe that they see you as a soulmate, a partner. Maybe you are in business. It doesn't always have to be about love, but you have an equality here. Maybe he started as a bit of a baboom and then we move on to something more serious. The lovers come a lot this week and maybe there's a lot of, yes, a partnership in the making at the moment. So what I would say um, and what they will want to tell you is that they're ready now to take that risk, whether it's a partnership or you know that love story because it's going to be a love story at the end the thing is what you do have here is someone very anxious but we need to go through the ten of sword we know that yet so it's going to get worse a little bit for that person before it gets better and of course they will have the ace of sword when there is that idea of i know what i want and i know what i don't want so very clear cut once again that person wants to take a leap of faith with you or might also say i was a fool i was an idiot why did i behave like this because actually, I think I'm in love with you. Boom, bada, boom. Very simple here. Again, okay, so let's have the uh, hidden truth of it all. What do we have here? What do we have? You were the best thing in my life. Yes, of course. And maybe they blew it because they didn't know how to tell you. And now they're going to have to come back and say, well, I was an idiot. I'm sorry. And I'm in love with you. And absolutely adore you. And yes, you are the best thing that ever happened to me. Because look at that. We can really have a soulmate connection here. Beautiful. And maybe that was something they were looking for and it just happened just like that. They didn't see it coming. And now they realize, okay? So let's have one of those here. What do we have? Anxiety. Well, you think so? Yeah, just a bit. We surround you with the healing light of amethyst. Take a deep breath and breathe in this beautiful violet light. Feel your anxiety melting away. There is nothing to fear. There is only love. Of course, there's only love here. Hmm? But they are very anxious. Yes, they're anxious because they may thought that they were foolish and they lost you. Or they're very anxious because they don't know how to tell you. I feel for you much more. Or I want this partnership to work because together we can really do this. I mean, do some serious damage when it comes to success. Absolutely. Let's do this. But yeah, anxiety, it's, it's sometimes, and I mean quite often, it's just the mind judging, you know, the mind building up stories, the ego building up that fear. You just have to cool it down and go back to nature, go back to also the universe. The universe is so much bigger than, than all those little stories that we build up in our head. Seriously, the universe has been here for centuries. So the problem we think we have, sometimes it's just on our head, in our head, or sometimes as well, it's just a moment when we just have so much, you know, bigger picture out there you know so sometimes to reconnect with nature to realize that that tree has been there for hundred and hundred of years well that's it they, that tree went through everything the snow the dry weather everything and still standing so we can do the same you see it's just a moment when we have fear and anxiety particularly is sometimes when we fear for the future oh i don't know how i'm going to do this i don't know what's going to happen tomorrow and blah 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 is a build-up of fear and that is com coming from your mind so control the mind hmm, as much as you can because the mind should work for you not you working for your mind so you know just let's go back to the reality okay reality check on this one uh, on this note have a beautiful day and i'll see you tomorrow Mwah. ciao